games wouldn't right. develop like they do. No, I lo- yeah, I mean it as a low elo player, it's it's mu- makes the game much harder for me, right? But that again, yeah. that's the that's the skill expression is when you introduce things like that and then, I'm not going to call it RNG, but to some degree like Enjoy the way you choose to scout minute. and how you um then use those pressure points is very important. Yep, you're right, man. And uh so I was just saying YouTube to Mr. Ride Dash that this is Regicide, and this is Houseboat. As you can see, the town centers are located in the middle of this pond, so players will get to scout with their scouts and their kings uh, and get to get to know the, the focal points, the areas they need to focus on and pressure throughout the game. This map, it looks fun. I know. It looks fun. Try playing it and transporting five villagers at a time as you're doing everything else. It sucks. <laughs> I hate I it. Gonna say, that's annoying. I, I hate playing it, but... Uh, it is really fun as a spectator, especially when these guys are this good. So uh, we have MBL playing as the Chinese, and Tattoo has also chosen the Chinese for this, for the extra villager start. Yeah, that's interesting. Mirror matchup here. Tattoo did find, or MBL rather, found a lot of resources immediately right off the back end yep. of his, uh, his base. Both There's... players obviously moving moving back right they're not going forward with their ecos which is important yeah so that's fair we've seen instances like last game where tato's wood wasn't in the best position both of them have wood lines behind which is nice uh the I golds and stones are interesting on this map because there's two tile resources all around this little ponds here so you can get Almost resources pretty much way. everywhere are you still right finished? Uh, Grim, I'm I'm not that fresh anymore, man. <laughs> You're not that fresh anymore, but thank you very much. Welcome back. Uh, Chinese is a cool sieve to cast, man, because they can do everything well from feudal age can. onwards. Yeah, so I mean, again, it'll be a lot about that rock paper scissors. Of, well, you know, what's he building? Okay, I build this. Oh, now yeah. he's building this. I build this. Just taking a look at the scouting, trying to see if either of them has found anything particularly relevant not as yeah. of yet they not, both obviously know much. where each other are both players have docks this is one of those maps that really tests how you can adjust because all your standard build orders are thrown out the window right uh, both players doing similar things and collecting the shore fish and creating fishing ships uh i don't see it often but sometimes you will see players advance to feudal and try and sneak a dock to go fires and kill oh, enemy fish so that is a possibility. Yeah, that and, would be a ballsy play. In fact, there was one game I saw maybe a year and a half ago where someone won water around someone else's TC. Now, it was in Castle Age at that time, so that TC wasn't really that important. He could build more. But these resources are so close to the water that right. the guy who had water control was able to deny multiple golds and stones. Mm. I think it's tough to pull that off, though. <laughs> yeah, well, I, especially with, again, at this level, the idea being that they would be scouting yeah. for anything like that. So is there anyone in the Twitch chat that has never seen this map before? I'm curious. There's got to be somebody out there. If you haven't, there's quite a few good games on this on my YouTube channel. You can probably just search Houseboat. That's a map I like to do on, on most T90 series. But it's different. I think it won a map contest two years ago. Yeah, okay. Wow, it's like half the chat. <laughs> yeah, it's a cool map. Yeah, so MBL already house walling up for his, uh, you know, rear eco. Yep. Tato not nearly as much. I think Tato's scouting has been a little bit more. Ooh, forward bills. And yeah, he, he went up very early. I, I wonder... Okay, so let's see. Let's look at his scouting. He will assume that there's fishing ships, so he could dock. He knows where the wood is, and that uh, MBL will likely be taking the gold and the stone in that area. So he could go for like a tower rush or something. Is he on stone? Oh yeah, he's going to stone. So a tower rush. Okay. Oh, oh. there he's on. Okay, I was like, I couldn't find where he's on stone, but yeah, uh, yeah, right. it's to the to the south of the TC. Oh wait. He went on stone to start, and now he's going to gold. So maybe... Barracks and a house forward at the moment. 
MBL is just straight fast castling this. I was gonna say, yeah, this is gonna be very interesting. Let's see if we if Tato can do anything against the Dark Age uh, MBL. But the forward is spotted, so MBL's aware of it, and he's trying to wall up as best he can. <laughs> this transport is funny. The king and then the scout hopping right into the transport. Yeah, MBL knows it's coming, and he. I believe is going fast castle into building a castle, which is why he's gone up so late and why he's on stone. That um, that will actually help him out if he needs to build defensive towers, but he can't do that till he's in feudal. I mean, the good news for MBL is that he can essentially run south. Yeah, you're right. So it's a disruptive tower, but it's not going to be the end of the world here because there's no real way that Tato can tower the backwood yet. I mentioned earlier how you have to deviate from your standard build orders, and I think that's hurting MBL now, because he does not have the food he'd need to fast castle, uh, and now he's been pressured, and he's going to have all the all this food that he isn't gaining anything from. He's not It's not a good thing for him. He would have preferred to have less food and hit the next stage faster. A Tato has docked him, and we will see those fires. Oh, it's a transport? What? Wait, what? Tato's gonna try and transport through? That has to be a misclick. Oh, hold on. Dude, Dash, look at the fishing ship from MBL. He's using, He's using the fishing to ship to block. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Can he repair the fishing ship here just to. Oh, oh that's brilliant. Through, through. That's brilliant. And here's the transport for Tato. I feel like that was a mistake. Oh, the man in arms. Yep. They're doing good work. The tower. Tower to should up. go up here. Oh, there's a few weak villagers though. One. Okay, there's the tower one more. goes up, but it will go back down. Yeah. <laughs> this is so weird though. Like, has Tower's Tato ventured up. too far? MBL has actually trapped him with the fishing ship there, so he can't run away. Send a demo. Oh, Tato's sending a demo. Oh. Oh, let's go. Let's go. Oh, MBL yeah, saw it. Fishing. Wow. He is going to go oh, ahead and the, let... de the demo from MBL! The demo from MBL! Oh. Okay. He, so three units killed three off units. there, and the rest have been house walls. now they're trapped. Now they're trapped. Oh, wow. That was so oh, clutch no. from MBL. Oh, Tato's going to lose everything here. Unreal. Wow. That was sick defense from MBL. All uh, right, that is not how I expected any of that to go. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, we could not <laughs> that have predicted was, that. That tower was 100 HP from going down. Uh, yeah. But the the quick second tower and the and the house wall in with the demo ships. Yep. Well played. There is a fire ship, fire galley now, kind of wreaking havoc on MBL's fish though. Yeah, I just wonder. I mean, the fish would probably need to relocate to the deep fish on the back, and then beyond that, they're kind of useless. So. Um, and be all, oh, he's not even, maybe he hasn't noticed that. He hasn't reacted to it. That could hurt. He's trying to use his TC yeah, against it, I guess. On? Yeah. I mean, Tato lost a lot of villagers there. He committed to an early Feudal Age attack. Normally when you lose stuff like that, you're in big trouble. But if he does damage to the fish, then he can add his own fish and he can have essentially an eco advantage. And yeah, something other than is, villagers. He is still down. He's down seven vills and down three fish. Yeah. <laughs> Man, that changed so much there. I'm honestly and amazed. I thought I thought the game was o like over pretty much yeah. with uh, with that forward. Yeah, I there's just some, there's small things like you said, man. The fishing ship block that was intentional mm -hmm. from MBL. The demos came out from both. I don't get the transport though. The transport was confusing. I, it might have been a misclick for Tato. I don't yeah. get that too much. I imagine it had to have been other, unless yeah, unless he was really planning on spamming out units and and just transport porting them past the wall, you know, yeah. the makeshift wall. But I, I was thinking maybe he did that uh, because he wanted to be ballsy with the tower rush. I forget when he built that. If MBL was in Dark Age, maybe at that time he felt like he could build towers and, and MBL couldn't counter tower. But uh, I mean, he knew the stone was there, so MBL normally would go to stone for counter towers at that stage it was a bit bit weird from tato but it certainly gave us an entertaining game <laughs> yeah very much so both and, players closing in on their castle yeah exactly ups. pretty close does tato uh, actually have two buildings 
He does not. He needs a second building. He's got an archery range. He's got to be a blacksmith, and he has not built that yet. Yeah, okay. meanwhile, MBL has clicked up. So Tato a little slow to castle. This is what you're talking about. Like, that failed forward is put him pretty far behind now. Yeah. Yeah, pretty far behind, but MBL has this tendency to to not make military to hold momentum like Tata would, you know? So I see him sending a forward villager now. Maybe he'll go for a siege, but if this villager gets stopped, then MBL will only just have a faster boom. He won't have crossbows or knights or anything as far as I can see. Oh, and he's, he's trying to dock. <laughs> oh. Just passing. <laughs> I wonder waving, if Tato will... Waving hello to the... Uh, yeah, to yeah, Tato yep, sees this. He's gonna send one after it. Yeah, immediately builds an outpost so we can spot anything else that might sneak in. Yeah, bringing archers over. But, but not even a stable for MBL. Not even a few knights to try and hit these vulnerable areas. I, I feel like that would be a mistake. I mean, he's got, he's got such an advantage to castle, like a two yep. a two minute game time advantage. I wonder how he's going to use it. I guess he has the option to just go three TCs and say, "Well, I repelled the big push. I know I'm ahead. Let yeah. me boom." There are players who do that a lot, and it almost infuriates me because if anybody else that's not top ten in the world tries to play like that, they get overrun with military. But these guys can calculate it right. so well that they can just squeak by with that military advantage at some point late castle, and then they can push back with greater eco. Yep, but, immediately drops two TCs. Although these archers are here, they might be able to deny. Mm, Fletching's completing, so I think two villagers die here. Uh-oh, hold on. She's going to house wall. Okay, so the TC will probably go up. Oh! What is Tato trying to do? Hold on, he's trying to wall these bills in. Oh, that's a sick play from Tato. That is a sick play from Tato. I think he'll kill these three bills on this side. Oh my god, he's microing to keep them from putting up the He'll TC. deny the TC, I think. It's close. That one villager's building. Uh, oh, oh, what a god. clutch play from Tato. Oh, that's so amazing. Goodness. He, This was the villager... That he chased down MBL's villager with. He built an outpost, saw the TC, then immediately thought, okay, I think I can stop this. Don't want them to run and house walled them off. That was sick. That was quite, quite impressive. And this, if MBL had a knight, that's all cleaned up. You know what I mean? He didn't create exactly. any military point. with his advantage, which uh, bit him in the ass there. Yeah, he still doesn't even have a military building. Yeah, except for that siege workshop. And okay, now He's a castle, building, yeah. which is a. Uh, not and not a very good position. It doesn't save too much. No, that's super, super far back. Tato building his castle. Where's he building his? Ooh, forward. He's building his forward. I like it. Yeah, yeah. This is this is gonna be cool. All um, right. So Tato will likely go one T. Is he gonna go one TC or did he drop another? He's on one. It would make sense for him to stay on one and and push with military. Yes. Yeah, yeah. For no, for, a while, for a while. For a while. Yeah. This is where you need to calculate it because. If you can go two TCs and have a little bit more economy and still hold key areas, then that's good. But if you go two TCs and you don't do enough damage, then it's bad. And that's, like, now I feel like it's kind of 50-50 um, because MBL will lose his gold, but he still has plenty of other golds and he's on three TCs. So maybe it works, maybe it doesn't if he stays one. MBL sees this castle going up now with the TC being completed before, though he didn't know. Yeah. And... Nice shot from Tato. Ooh, well done. From a spectator perspective, it's always better and more enjoyable for Tato to have less eco than MBL, I think. Because then he has to be aggressive, and it's so fun to see Tato play when he's being aggressive, you know? Yep. So Just yeah, he's got, he got the crossbow upgrade. He's got the Ford Castle and Siege Workshop. So again... I see an issue with MBL and space. He just yeah. literally doesn't have tiles to build on. You look at Tato's point of view. On the right-hand side, he sees everything, and he's fighting. On the left-hand side, he has the tower, he has sheep, he has spears. He can see if MBL goes anywhere but where he's at currently. Yeah, just, just very well-controlled play even even with the failed forward again the composure to say all right i'm late to castle but i'm gonna go aggressive because that's my way back in yeah 
Uh, so I want to point out a couple things here because I know that many people who are watching the stream play this game. Uh, and many of you might just watch this too when we cast it and still you can learn from this. As a general rule of thumb, in my opinion, a player should never add extra town centers unless they have some type of control on the map. So in MBL's position, had he added something to control, then he could comfortably add the TCs even if they were a minute or two later. But when he gets the early TCs and he doesn't have anything to control the map, you put yourself in this very awkward position and he might get away with it because he's MBL, but I personally recommend to never do what MBL has done here um, and exclude like, you know, crossbows or, or something early in castle. Yeah, I mean, he's got six two canoes. Yep. Uh, queued up, but other than that, yeah, it's oh, just this, a Manganel fight. This Manganel micro is sick. Both players dodging the attack round from Tato and another one. Oh, he got the bill. <laughs> yeah, got the bill. He also killed a villager on that wood line there. MBL wisely pulling back here and repairing. Matato is... Oh, he got oh. the Maganel! Man. I did from, not expect that to hit, actually. From downtown. <laughs> uh, MBL selling a bunch of wood stone. Is he going to go yeah. for a quick imp? Yeah, he, he wants to up here. He he went for extra. Oh my god, did you see that? The the Maganels oh, from Tata were attacking the farm and MBL ran right into it. Yep, he ungarrisoned it. Yeah. I can guarantee that 11 was not an 11 where he's mm -hmm. truly laughing. <laughs> yeah, he's going for the faster imp. This is interesting, Dash. What do you think about yeah. this? Well, I mean, I guess the assumption is if we're looking at Tato's map control as being his big advantage right now. Yeah. The, uh, a one treb is all he's going to need to to eliminate that castle and buy back all of the space on the map again. Yep. And um, he also can keep his TCs running, assuming he has the food for it, so it's not like he's not adding eco. Yeah. So it's not, not too bad. It's just that he's very stretched. He'll barely be able to afford one treb when he hits in. Right. Now it's just a matter of how much he loses in his uptime. Um, actually, yeah. he micros that Minganel down. If he gets one more, I'd say he's in a very nice position. Oh, nice dodge. Yep. The attack Ooh. round. Oh, the castle sniped the other Minganel on the top side. And the attack round from MBL there. Wow. So three wow. Minganels down. Three for zero. That's, That's huge. Because now... Yeah, without without losing anything more on that push, like if he had lost that gold and that stone to Mango Manganel pressure during the uptime, yeah, then he might be in trouble. But now he can he's got Bodkin finishing on his castle and his two canoes. He can pump out one treb, and Tato is not even close to clicking. I don't think. Yeah, this this will no, be nowhere near. This will put a lot of pressure on Tato. As somebody asking where Tato's king is? It's actually next to the shoreline here, exposed. Um. But this will put quite a lot of pressure on Tato to create Castle Age military to combat the Imperial Age military of MBL. I should point out that MBL cannot really afford many upgrades on, like, beyond the Trebs. You can't really do much, but that'll be enough, I think. There's one oh, Trebuchet. He, he deleted his TC in the middle of his pond. Yeah, it just got too annoying. <laughs> yeah. Didn't want to hit the hotkey and end up there anymore. Okay, another castle coming down from MBL on the right side. Oh. So that's just that's the side he's choosing to expand on. Okay, so MBL sees this, so now he's transporting his king away. I was going to say, Tato's docking here, and it would not be unlike Tato to try and snipe the king if it was in that TC, and the king has right. now gone to the shoreline. But the treb, first treb is out. Attacking the castle. I don't know what Tato's source of recourse is here. He's currently yeah. upping War Galley and Elite Skirm, which I'm not sure is going to matter if <laughs> if uh, MBL is allowed to expand out here away from the water. Well, it's a little bit deceiving because Tato has 10 more vills, but he also didn't invest 1,000 food and 800 gold into researching to him. So True. The only thing I can see MBL doing damage with is trebuchets and chukunus. And so far, the chukunus doing quite a lot of damage. I, I heard a demo there. Um, I did too. I, I don't know where. <laughs> uh, but I think if Tato goes with the lead skirm, which he's doing, he might be able to hold from this for a little while. Right. 
Yep, repelling the raid with his with his own shukunus and crossbows. Yeah. Uh, he's got a mangonel coming back. But that castle's down already, and the forward siege workshop is about to go down just yeah. to, to arrow fire, so... And MBL's not on one castle, he's on two, and he's going to get all of this map control back. And Tato's economy is not far away from all of this. He will need to stop the Trebs from, from killing his buildings, and that's not easy. Yep. Well, now the concern is that whereas MBL built defensively and therefore has a protected eco, Tato does not. If yeah, if he loses this pressure that he has forward, which he essentially just did, he's now going to be raided so easily. Yeah, it's, it's tough, man. He has I mean, to buy yeah, himself right a lot of time. What is this time. castle build from Tato? Oh, no. Over what? His, uh, what is this? I don't get it. He wants to defend the farmers, which are already dead? I, I don't know. Maybe he wasn't thinking. Maybe he, he felt like he built that elsewhere, but that's right next to where the Trebs are as well. That is a very weird castle from Tato. He's just wasting stone right now, too, the more he yeah. builds it. Yeah, and okay. uh, Maganel trade there, good for MBL yet again. And Tato will have to delete that. Now, Tato's Castle's king is done. on the left-hand side. I kind of want to see him forget about this and see a snipe. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah, it is just sitting right over there. Yeah, that would be pretty cool. Okay, so, so a crazy now. thing. I don't think this will happen because Tato doesn't know. Look at MBL's king. There's one demo for Tato on the water there. <gasps> Oh my god, that would be so epic. Yeah, it would be. He would have to get lucky, but that would be wonderful. Yeah, he's got the war Kelly, the fire ship, and a demo. Yeah. Just chilling in the... <laughs> he gets one opportunity. He doesn't know it's there. But I don't I think am, he's I focusing on that. I am concerned about his king, though, too, just sitting off on the side there. Yeah, and, and MBL's oh, starting to scout the other areas of the map. Like, okay, where's their gold? Where is Tato going? He will probably go there and see the king. Yeah. But by then, the, the Chukunus, they've already been killed off, so I guess it'd take a while for MBL to even get there. A uh, new castle being dropped by MBL. Yeah, this is beautiful from MBL because the skirmishers and the crossbows from Tato, they can fight the Chukunu here. And if they go in a straight up fight, Tato could even win with a few Maganels shots. But if MBL gets a castle up, there's nothing that. Tatsu can do to engage beneath that. So these trebuchets will just kill everything around this new castle. Right, this is getting and tough yeah, they'll Tato. be in range of the one uh, castle that Tato does have. Yeah. Which I should say MBL does not see, but I think he'll see it any moment now. With the trebs, yeah. Yep, and he's going to be very happy to see that, I can tell you that much. Yep. We got a couple mangonels here to defend against the Chukanus, but a siege workshop going up. MBL is, you know, fine. He's finally bought himself a third of the map. I mean, he was yep. at the, for the first 20 minutes, 30 minutes of this game, he was playing within a, you know, a tenth of the map size. The mangonel shot from MBL gets four additional kills there. Tato needs to hold on to his military numbers. It's already going to be tough for him. He needs to upgrade these and try and hold. Yeah, repairing the castle, but kind of all for naught. Don't know what he's going to get out of that at the moment, aside from time. Yep. Well, the populations are pretty close. Oh, God. Tata losing a ton more skirmishers there. Yep, the castle goes down. Now MBL gets to turn on to the production buildings. He already lost one RT range. He's about to lose another. So pretty soon, Tato's going to have Bracer. Tato uh, will then be able to combat these Chukunus. He just needs to stop these these castles and these Trebs from pushing in further. Um, and MBL, he doesn't have anything else planned except for a few Maganels, which can be killed by Skirmishers with Bracer. So I think Tato, if he can expand to the left, which he's working on, he might be able to hold this, but it's not going to be easy. Definitely not. I mean, he's building another defensive castle to the south um, and a new town center. Basically just giving up space, waiting to hit Imp, get his upgrades, yeah. and then... 120 and then population right for Tato. 24 military versus the 128 population and 29 military from MBL. And again, MBL can lose his Chukunu and will lose his Chukunu to the elite scrims if he fights it. Hmm. MBL has three castles to create Chukunu, which is good. But with 
units out of the archery range, you can create them so much faster. And we'll see here. This is where MBL needs to pull back, I think. He's lost one Shukunu, and he's patrolled into this. He's going to lose a few, and yeah, now he realizes. Yep. I think MBL needs light calf. He's adding stables now, and that's probably what we'll see. He needs something to counter those skirms, and going on is simply too expensive for him at the moment. But he's got such a nice hold now on uh, the center of the map with with the trebs, and he's now built out his eco. He's got that sweet farming eco to the right side. Yep. Castles throughout. At the same time, if Tato can, can hold his current position and expand a little bit, if you look at the left side of MBL's base, he doesn't have any of those golds there. And there's that one crossbow that you know Tata put there intentionally to kill the Lumberjacks and just to deny the wood. Yep. So Tato's position, he has had the left side of his base and the right side. And he still does, actually, just doesn't have the middle. MBL, he has some of the middle and that whole right-hand corner. So, I don't know. Will he get that trap? He did yeah. get that trap with the Manganel. the traps. Okay. So yeah, he's definitely stalled MBL out a little bit. Yeah. But again, if MBL fighting... had unlimited stone, he could have continued the whole castle drop thing, but I can't do that now. Running low yeah. on res. Losing these uh, mangonels to the Chukunus, but getting a few kills back. Yeah, nice micro from MBL there. A tattoo building guard towers just to stall here. I, I like that. And he has trebs coming from the south to try and treb down MBL's castle. Yeah, he needs units to defend against these Shukunus, though. Yeah, I'm, I'm keeping an eye on the Kings for those wondering. The Kings are... I don't, where's uh, MBLs? I know where... If, if you're on a player point of view and you do control, shift, and up on the arrow key, it takes control, you to the King. Up. Oh, nice. Oh, just yeah. sitting in the wood line. Nice. Yep. Okay. <laughs> just, just, just like a certain League of Legends caster I know. Yeah, you know. You know. <laughs> we, know we know how this, this story ends. Yeah, exactly. Oh, God. <laughs> when, a, when a single light cav runs through MBL's base and snipes the king. I, I didn't mean to, uh... Actually, I totally meant that to be a cheap <laughs> <Yeah>. shot. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> it's very fair. Ah, MBL can afford Cavalier instead. He has wow. quite a few as well. Holy cow. Oh yeah, he's got him loaded up in the stables, the five stables back there. Dropping another siege workshop forward, establishing more map control with the Chuka News. Oh man, the Chukunus dying to the skirmishers, but I imagine the Cavalier will show up. And this is the first time Tata will see this. When you don't have map control, you don't know what to expect at times. Yep. And all he could oh, lose is he could lose everything here, honestly. Yeah, he's not even waiting for Cavalier. He sees, sees the skirmishers out of position and says, Knights are enough. That was so Let's sick. Go. That engagement was so sick from MBL. The way he ran past the skirmishers and timed it with the stop hotkey, that was yep. perfect for him. Both trebs go down. Yep. Half of the skirmishers are already dead. Yeah, and I think we'll have to pull back here because that's that's quite a few arbs from Tato. And he doesn't have the last defense upgrade. Let's see. Oh, should Cavalier, what's his choice? I think he's okay. He's going to choose to fight it out. Well, he's in see close. He and he's got capped rams already pressuring. Yeah, that is the good thing for him. The capped rams are, they can't be touched at the moment. Tato researching keep. Okay. Wow. Okay. Yep. So really relying on those towers to uh, play defense. Yeah, I think the Cavalier, they worked well there, but MBL needed that plate barding armor before he took that upgrade. But he has mobility, and that's something players haven't really had. There's been slow pushes all around the map, but no one has had mobility this game. And finally, MBL has it, yeah. and this is going to be tough. Really, really tough for Tato to keep up with. Yeah, you can. Yeah, I mean, he's just losing all of these buildings on the front line again, just just giving up ground over and over and over again. Luckily, because of all the map presence that he had from his initial push, yep, he's been able to slowly concede land for the this last twenty true. minutes and still be fine. Yeah, this is true. It's it's deceiving because we've seen him lose so much, but he lost what he had forwards. So that's a very good point there. Right. And right. I like the engagements on the, the right-hand side. The Arbalest microing well. All the Chukunu's dead. And yeah. he's teching into Halb. So with Halb and Arbalest, he will kill just Cavalier. And that's not cheap for MBL either. 
that's true. I do love what MBL did, though. You see, he threw three Cavalier to the left side. Yes. That's it. They're not yep. even doing much, but it's just, again, he's doing, he's pulling the page out of Tato's playbook. Let's hit, hit from all sides. Let's wait for a mistake to be made. Yeah, and also I should point out that there are two relics which Tato will want. He lost the monastery, so he'll need to pick them up and probably take them to the back of his base soon. Mm -hmm. But now Tato's forcing an engagement. This is a really close game. Both players at 170 population, both players around 40 military. This is cool. Yeah. And MBL can't keep that castle up, so he'll lose it. Tato pushing yeah, back. Yeah, there you go. The four trebs. He waited. Waited it out. Got those four trebs out. Question is, where does MBL want to hit next? What's yeah, his, exactly. What's his plan? I, I think that he could consider taking a risk and grabbing a bunch of these Cavalier and hitting the left-hand side. Yeah, I, I feel like he's... Aside from the three Cavalier and this one capped ram that he's got over there, um, he hasn't focused too much attention on the left side, and that's yeah. where, quite obviously, I mean, there's not a single castle up for Tato. Um, so Cavalier would have no problem wreaking havoc. Yep, and that's exactly where he's going. He's going to now try and hold the right-hand side with skirmishers. Uh, the problem for him, this is a risk. He could lose all of his production building. So if he goes here, it's a risk. And always oh, deciding to come back. He's, but he, he's changed but you plans. See he, selected, he selected his ram with his cavalier. So look at the speed they're moving. Yep, that sucks. And he's not looking at this at the moment, I'm sure, because he's creating more units. He's housed badly after losing the castle. Tato takes the score lead back. Tato has 20 more population just like that. Wow. I like the move yes. from MBL to try and go to the left-hand side, but he yeah, should have done it earlier, I think. That, as well as I think he needs to split his army. Like, I think yeah. he's being too hes being too precious by keeping all of his units together. Yep. Those three Cavalier yes. did a fantastic job. They idled about 20 vils, and they killed a few as well. Mm -hmm. So that would have added up. Now, Onager for MBL, this is something that will really make it tough for Tato to push with. Heavy camel for Tato in response to the Cavalier. Well, I think Heavy Camel are good. They obviously counter the Cavalier, but they would do well against these uh, these Skirmishers. Mm -hmm. And, and they would help snipe Onagers, I guess. Yeah, that's true. Um, you know, I can't help but feel that MBL should be looking towards Chukunu, but he's lacking the gold. Where's he getting gold right now? Oh, unreal. Dash, the only gold he has is with one villager, which is about to die. That's on the left-hand side where Tato has had that map control. Oh. oh, yeah, okay, just he's got that, yeah, there's the three pile yeah. to the north, but he doesn't have access to it. Yep, Tato's waiting then... on both the gold piles there. He's he's uh -huh. doing this intentionally, Tato. Uh, MBL committing to a push here on the right side. Yeah, and that engagement was pretty, pretty good for him, I'd say. The only bad thing is every gold unit he loses, he can't replenish easily, while Tato, he has plenty of gold. Uh, well, hold on a second. MBL building an outpost next to Tato's TC. That's different. I was going to say, do you see that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's amazing. Uh, yep. All Tato... right, he threw a couple Cavalier up there, but they're getting yeah. cleaned up by Halbs. And Tato housewalling in his king against the edge of the map. <laughs> that's hilarious. Uh, why not put in a tower, Tato? Come on, man. Give him a good view. Well, this is interesting. We got... A number of capped rams moving in here for MBL on the right side. Yep. So if he can get... I just don't know how he's going to break through on multiple TCs and a castle. I think if he goes siege ram, that would be so strong. Um, if you look at Tato's right composition... Yeah. If you look at Tato's composition, what does he have to kill siege rams? The skirms and the arbs won't do it. Right. The, the halves can't close in. Yeah, he would need to spam more light cab or heavy camels. Yeah, and I, I, even though Tato has good map control over some of the golds, he doesn't have so much in the bank. And oh, we have a tower rush. MBL building guard towers. He's going to try and get Ooh. map control on the left with towers. I like this a lot. Yeah, he wants that gold. He's getting control over it right now. Well, at the same time, though, look at that right-hand side. So many camels and uh, not too much to counter this. For MBL, Tato pulling back, but he has held this for now. Yeah, the Siege Ram just came through. Yep. That'll make it tough. So this let's is... see. I mean, the Heavy Camels and the Light Cabs, they're going to they're gonna do what they can, but... Yeah. 
I mean, it's just so much of your military spent attacking this, this ram. And if you're yeah. doing that, then the rest of your units are just dying. And here comes MBL with an onager. It's one of those units that can really change a fight. But the light cab for Tato picking that off. Great awareness. That's it, but see that t on that left side, or, you know, those two siege rams pushing hard on that side. Yeah, yeah, you're right. And they're, they'll take out the archer ranges. They will, will take out the market there. And it's just... A distraction, a huge distraction. Siege Ram is so, so big. And MBL has the north now. Remember that left-hand side of his base? He's, oh, he's yep. TCing the golds. So right, he's, so he's, he's pushing Tato briefly on the left. This is such a good game, but I really like MBL's position right now. I agree 100%. I mean, Tato even lost the ground. He can't get those two relics now. So he will get starved of gold here soon. Yep. And I'm trying to that... see where he even is getting any more of it. I don't think he has any gold left. Yeah, his oh, his other yeah. gold was towered by MBL, so he is he has no gold. Yep, completely out of gold. So well, he's two relics, have... I guess, but yeah. Yeah. So I mean, if he could somehow g gain the ground back to grab these other two relics, four relics would be a decent stream. Yep. Of gold here, uh, as both players begin to starve out. But yeah, I, I have to agree. MBL's position is so much stronger at this point. And Tato can't really justify dealing with the left-hand side of MBL's base to stop him from getting that gold that he knows is there because he can barely defend his own base. So MBL needs to just use this time, collect that gold, get the relics, and then slowly push in on the left and the right side of Tato's base. Mm -hmm. Here's the Trebs and the Siege Rams coming in, looking to create pressure. I mean, basically Tato's holding off with a group of t 10 Arbalists. Yeah. And that one siege ram, did you see that chat? That one siege ram basically assisted with 15 halberdier deaths. Siege ram is such a big tech, and oh, I think Tato's in trouble now. I think he's in I trouble. So. Yeah, yep. this, this doesn't look good for him. He's just about to start losing every single one of his production buildings on that right side. He doesn't have the military to hold this off or kill the siege rams, and they're absorbing so much of the Arbalest fire. Yeah, and I think he does have the resources. If this, if they were to have a treaty for the next 10 minutes, I think he would have the resources to, you know, start combating with trash, but he would need to add farms, and he simply doesn't have the time for those farms to really pay off for him. He'll lose right. too much. Plenty of wood, but he's completely depleted when it comes to food, gold, and stone, so his options are very limited in how he responds to this, and you can kind of just see his pop dropping. And if you're MBL, every bit of gold you get goes into siege rams here. Yep. Oh yeah, you're happy to play Skirms like Cavan Siege Ram now until yep. the end of the game. Yeah, Chinese such a strong save. The Light Cav get full upgrades, the Skirms get full upgrades, the Halbs get full upgrades, you have the Siege Ram, uh, not to mention some of the other options. The Chukunu is a good addition. And Tato, he did clear up the towers on the left side of his base, and he's now going to try and push MBL a bit, but he really needs to hold the right and push the left. And that's not happening. No, not at all. And there's no possibility of a king snipe because MBL yeah, finally true. put his king inside a TC. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. Castle going down on this right side. I mean, this is just an unstoppable push from MBL. The the, the light cav for Tato doing whatever work they can, but one engagement could hold it for him. All the light cav for Tato. That's where did they true. come from? They, yeah, he he was spamming them out of those uh, four stables to the to the right side. Wow. And I guess he got good position. The populations now 173 for MBL, uh, 166. Man, it changed right when I was saying it, but it's, they, it's closer now. It's definitely Very closer. Very much so. And you know, we were saying he's got to push on the left side. He's got four trebs. Yeah. And, uh, and a pack of light kev. He's gonna try and do some work there. Get MBL off of that gold. Yeah, I think trebs are extremely like risky in this composition with just light kev, because MBL can do exactly what he's he's doing now and snipe these. But uh, I still. Yep. I think the important thing for Tato is that right-hand side, and now MBL adding Pikeman, realizing, man, I should have had these earlier because those light cap killed so many of my skirmishers. Yeah, I mean, it's a nice little win here for uh, Tato to, to repel this push, but it's still just the, the position in the game for MBL being the only player to control any gold yeah. on the map still it makes it feel like it's over. I, so 190 population for MBL, he has 200 wood, 600 food, 
Uh, two relics, which are in the middle there, and Tato's fairly close to it. Tato's, he has that floating wood. Yep. He, he, he got could, two relics back. Yeah, he got two relics. Uh, he could use more food, but I think he's just has units queued up. So I don't think this is over for Tato at all, but I think MBL now realizing his mistakes in the previous engagements and trying to sort out the left and the right as we speak. Yeah, the pikemen have come out on the right side, which helps him recontrol this area. And Tato going for his own siege ram. That's where his food went. Wow. That's ex it's expensive. Well, he did he did get MBL off of the one gold, but not the far north. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to get to the point where gold won't even matter. There's so many trash units. Chinese have so many available counters. This might just be like Halb, Skirms, and Siege Rams and Light Cav at some point. Yep. It's getting close to that. I mean, yep. uh, Tato's trying to put up a castle on the on the left side for that one little uh, patch of gold. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that castle would also help as MBL is going to be streaming units in on this in this area. It would really help to to kill some of those units. Yeah, so, well, the Halms show up to, to hold it, too, and so he will get that castle up. This game is, is crazy. It's just... I wrote Tato off a while ago. Actually, I, I was mean, thinking Tato did. was dead when, when MBL uh, was on his way to Imp. I was thinking, how can he deal with this, really? Right. Yeah, um, as soon as he clicked Imp, when we were looking at those castle positions and thinking, oh, well, Tato's going to lose all of his forward, yeah. forward buildings, which is what happened, but yeah, he's played a very impressive defense here. Tato, Tato and MBL, both of the best late game players I've seen. They're so good when it comes to raiding and, and constant production. Um, guys, this is not multi queue, so if you happen to play this and you just select all your buildings, set a gather point, and spam click your unit, this is single queue. So Tato's going like this and then controlling every fight and everything else. So, it is looking bad for Tato now, though. It I mean, is, he's yeah. It trying is. Trying to spam out the Halberdiers, but because the Pikemen came out finally, the Light Cav are far less effective than they were before. Yep. And I, I think if you're MBL, you're probably feeling very good when you see all these Lumberjacks and and Farmers, because with the Light Cav spam, the Pikemen, the Elite Skirmisher spam, it's all down to food and wood. And Tata knows that he's going to build a few towers, but I think even the towers get denied here. Yep. Yeah, he's trying on the back end of those uh, barracks. He's trying yep. to establish some kind of a defensive position, but losing this entire right side of the map now. I think the lowest population I, I saw Tato in Imp was uh, 150 once these fights on the left and the right started. So he's getting very close to his lowest, and I, I think it will just get lower and lower now. Yep. Siege Ram's on the left side now. So yep. even though Tato did a little bit of pushing back, he's just not gaining enough ground as he's losing a tremendous amount on the right side. I got to hand it to both these players to only have two idols for Tato and zero for MBL. How? That's insane. <laughs> how how That's do you insane. have no idol villagers? That's ridiculous. We only look at the fights, but this is... That's true. This is crazy. Yeah, I mean, that, it's... Uh, I mean, the light cab on the left side. So again, he's he is yeah, holding on it, the left it's, side. It's just, if you, if you look back to the positions the players had 10 minutes ago... MBL has moved forward, so exactly. Like, we're still looking at pops and whatnot, but MBL just needs to slowly push here forward. Here we go. Like, and yeah, like Cav on the bottom side here. Yeah, this about is to big. Destroy this farming eco. Yeah, I mean, I mean, you Tato... gotta wonder if Tato is just thinking. I mean, basically, MBL's out of gold as well. Yeah, yep, yeah. and so that's not gonna make him very happy when he sees that he's losing so much. Right, and. This just distracts population from from the front for Tato, which he's already struggling to hold. Not to mention that he is he has idols. He has 16 idols, so those villagers are not bringing in resources. I mean, look at the military difference, 80 to 35. Yep, pretty big. And, and also, I like MBL's position more with uh, the forward buildings, the fact that he has wood and food coming in, the two relics still. He hasn't killed Vils, though, MPL. That's the crazy thing. Tato is just rebrands. Right. But... I mean, it's been an, a tremendously impressive recovery from both players in both situations. So, like, let's, yep. let's not forget how this game started with what looked like a game-winning tower. 
yep. uh, rush, you know, out of uh, and and forward out of Tato, and then such an impressive defense out of MBL to give himself the advantage for the remainder of the game. I think. Now I I probably said this three times already. <laughs> I think if that castle goes down, it's GG. Yeah, I, I think the GG will be coming soon. Surely Tato can't hold on much longer. I mean, he's running out of wood back here. He does not have many resources. Right. But dude, his own siege rams come out and they kill the siege rams from MBL. Oh the guy will die. <laughs> oh, oh man. that's so good. Yeah, I mean, this I castle will stay up. He's got helps coming. You know... I Again, the light still, cap rating is still there. Yeah, I still think that... See, once Tata loses his right-hand side, which he's, he's kind of doing already, it'll just make it so much easier for MBL to switch focus to the left. You know, it'll just be one fight versus two different fights. Right. So this only makes it easier for MBL. Tato, nothing has really gone good for him over the past 10, 15, 15 minutes. Yeah. He's just trying to hold. MBL got one trap out, so that's going to... That's going to be it for the castle. Yeah, the, the camels won't be enough. There's pikemen there. The camels will clear up quite a few skirms. But I think these camels will die soon. And the castle... Oh, it's going to be repaired. Uh, nope. It will... Go yeah, it'll go down. Man, re respect to Tato and MBL. Wow. These are the games that make me so... Like, afterwards, I'm just so dead. You Wait know? a second. Do you see that gold to the top left? That Tato's on? Yeah, I do. I don't. I never saw that little three patch. You know, what? I saw it earlier, and I meant to mention it, but I was. I had so many other things to talk about. <laughs> Ooh, so, the guard towers coming up from MBL in that yeah, same this area. Yeah, smart. This is smart, and uh, there's no castles. Yeah, no castles for Tato, so he can't make trebs. Uh, he will make rams for it, but this is still going to be a pain in the ass. And now there keeps. M uh, Tato's raiding MBL with Lycav on the right side. He's got in a number of vil kills. Look at MBL's oh. vil count. It's down to 80. And, oh, are you... MBL's not even expecting this. He says, I have full control now. I just need to push this home. Okay, now he realizes. But man, 76 vils in a trash war? No way. Surely Tato this, doesn't hold this. Right? I, that's... I, there's no way. It's looking very good at the moment, considering the Vill difference. I think, eventually, in theory, MBL would run out of res to create units. Right. I am wondering, as soon as this TC goes down on the bottom half of the map to these light cav and the pike yeah, that are yeah. standing by, once those push in from the bottom, I think MBL has it, even with the rating that was just done. Oh, uh, dude, it's, it's one of these situations. You see the military from MBL, so he had so many units queued up. He just didn't have pop space. He was popped at 200 because he had right. 110 vills. So and all the vills died. <laughs> all, all the vills died, and now he gets more military. So if this wave of 115 units dies, he will really struggle to add more units. And I, I don't know if Tato will like have the presence of mind to, to know that because he doesn't know the situation right. of MBL's economy beyond how many he's killed there. Yeah, wow. I mean, it's 30 military to 115. That's the thing, is Tato needs... <laughs> it, yeah, it's crazy, but, you know, if he if he keeps camping these little choke points, maybe he can do it. I, I don't know. He's he's in this one corner now. If he wins this game, it'll be one of the craziest comebacks. Because I he's so he, impressed. He went from having most of the map control to being pushed back to this little corner, 20% of the map. Unreal. Yeah, I just don't, I don't know what his response on the bottom side is going to be. Yeah, you're right. You're right. MBL's doing a, his due diligence and actually clearing every building on his way <laughs> yep. into the base. Yep, and he'll probably make a few rams and just patrol them through. Uh, but the king for Tato. We're getting dangerously close to the point. There we go. Tato calls there the GG. Uh, we're getting wow. close to the point where Tato's king could have been exposed because it was right there against the edge of the map. What a hold from Tato, but great play from MBL because we were questioning his, his or I was definitely questioning his decision to, to camp like that, but he wins right. games when he does it. So, yeah, what do you I mean, say that, after it was, that? that was so funny. I mean, what a game seven. 122 yeah. in game minutes for this to, for the game seven. Yeah. Um, and I mean, the whole series had a number of ups and downs. Players coming back from positions where it didn't look. I mean, uh, the Gold Rush game jumps out in my mind as well. Still, yeah. Tato's play on that was just spectacular.
Um, oh, ton of fun to watch this. Yeah, it, it, I love these two players. Great games. A big shout out to them for playing chat. If we could get some salutes to them, uh, they might be opening up the stream now. Uh, thank you guys for playing in another T90 series. It was a lot of fun. Uh, MBL now hosting. So there we go. We can send MBL's viewers some salutes for playing in the T90 series or, or watching MBL play in the T90 series. Um, crazy amount of kills for MBL, but Tato as well. There's the eco difference. MBL had more gold. Tato had a little bit more food and wood. That was quite a game, Dash. Uh, thank game. you so much for G -G stopping by to Cocast. It was so thank much fun. Thank you for having me, man. I had a blast, and I'm learning. Like, that's that's part of it for me, is I'm like, this is a good way for me to learn, is watching the best players in the world play uh, while the best caster in AoE teaches me. So, it, it was time, man. Yeah, definitely. I will, um, I'll reach out to you in the future once we do a big event.